Good afternoon. Today we've got an experiment. And if you watched my video where I compared this Amazon Basics 500 watt heater to an older 1500 watt heater that I had, you're going to think this is a continuation and you wouldn't be wrong. Uh, in that video, what I had done was I was curious to see how this heater would compare to 500 watt, would compare to a larger 1500 watt heater. I measured the temperature of the heaters and I was heating up a washer and I was checking at five minutes and seven minutes to see how quickly each heater got to what temperature. Turned out this heater did better than the larger 1500 watt heater. Uh, it, it gave me what I needed, which was an idea of how well this heater performs and also it gave me some measurement. All of which leads me to the experiment today, which is I wanna know how does this heater perform when it's running on an inverter connected to a 12 volt battery as opposed to connected to my house outlet. And I'm gonna reuse those numbers that we got from the previous experiment to figure out how well it does. Something else I wanna check is I wanna see how much does it drain my battery when I run this inverter for seven minutes powering this fan. So stick with me and let's experiment. In the previous video, what I had done was I had set up the heater. I had put a metal washer that was one inch away from the heater. And then I turned the heater on, ran it for five minutes, checked the temperature, let it go for an additional two minutes, and then checked the temperature at seven minutes. So I'm gonna do that exact same test again. Our washer temperature is 54 degrees, which is one degree higher than it was on the previous test, but I don't think that's gonna make too big of a difference for our test. And I wanna check how much voltage we have on the battery. And the battery is at 12.23 volts. So we will get started. I will turn on the inverter. And I will turn on the heater. And I will start my stopwatch. So we will check back in five minutes, see what temperature that washer is, see what temperature the heater is, and then check back in seven minutes for those two measurements again. I'm gonna turn the heater back on for a second and explain to you what happened. You can hear that the inverter is beeping and the light is fluctuating between green and red. The reason it's doing that is, is that the battery has dropped low enough that the alarm is going off. I started off at 12.23 volts it dropped down to 10.14 and the inverter is trying to warn me that the battery has dropped. So half of my experiment was to find out how much it was going to drain the battery. It drained it a lot. It drained it so much in fact that it wasn't even able to run the heater for five minutes. That started happening at about three minutes. And then as soon as I turned the heater off, the battery voltage went back up to 11.62. But still, it, as soon as you turn the heater on, it'll run for a second and then it's going to start beeping again. So. I took a measurement of the temperature at three minutes and the washer had gotten to 74 degrees and inside the heater was 122. Now I did it at three minutes because that was the point at which it started having trouble. As soon as this starts to beep, the voltage is too low, the heater was turning off so it was no longer climbing. And I wanted to know how hot it had gotten before it started losing temperature. So at three minutes, it was 74 and 122. I did let it continue to the five minute mark. And at that time, it was 71 degrees on the washer and it was 101 degrees inside. So to complete the test, how does that compare to the five minute mark when this heater was running off of house power? It was 78 degrees on the washer and 183 degrees inside. So at five minutes running off of the inverter, it was four degrees colder on the washer and about 40 degrees colder, I'm sorry, 60 degrees colder on the heater itself. So that tells me that my 800 watt power inverter running off of a 12 volt battery, trying to run a 500 watt heater is not doing as well as it would if it was plugged into the house. Perhaps that's obvious, but this proves that running off of the inverter, this fan is not as efficient. The reason that I wanted a heater that was 500 watts as opposed to the standard heater, which is 1500 watts, 
was I wanted to be able to run it off of an 800 watt inverter. And it does run, but it draws so much power that it basically is pulling the battery down to a voltage low enough where the inverter starts to struggle. I will tell you that the battery I'm using is not a new battery. So perhaps a new battery would have performed better. It's also not a deep cycle battery, it's just your standard automotive battery. A deep cycle marine battery would have also performed better. But I have to say that I'm, I'm rather disappointed in the fact that this heater was only able to run for three minutes before it started having trouble. So if your goal, like mine, was to be able to run a small but efficient portable heater off of an automotive battery and a power inverter, it doesn't look like you're going to get much use out of this arrangement. Just my two cents. If you're looking to power your heater to keep yourself warm, off-grid, powers out, whatever the case might be, camping, and your thought was, I'll take a battery, 12-volt car battery, hook it up to an inverter and run that heater, it's probably not going to provide enough heat to help you. Thank you for watching.